Hi everybody, it's Christopher, and today I'm going to be doing a product review on this here. This is called Tofu Shirataki, and it's a spaghetti-shaped noodle made out of tofu, and it's a gluten-free um, item. It's a good source of fiber, and it has no cholesterol, no trans fat. It's vegan, and it's gluten-free. So I will show you the nutrition facts. Let's get into it. All right, so here's the nutrition facts here. For a half a pack, it's 20 calories, 0 0.5 grams of fat, um, zero cholesterol, 15 milligrams of sodium, three carbohydrates, but two of those are fiber, so there's one carb, zero sugars, and one protein. So really, it is literally a guilt-free um, alternative to pasta. So let's cook it. Okay, so I'm not sure if you can see this or not, but basically the directions just say to drain and rinse thoroughly and boil for two to three minutes or microwave for one minute to reduce the authentic aroma. Dry very well and um, use as if you would regular cooked noodles. So I'm going to drain those now and I have my water boiling. Um, so I'm going to drain these, rinse them, and then put them into my water and I'll be back when they're in there. So I just want to say this before I put them into the boiling water. They literally do look and feel like real pasta. Like, it looks identical to a real pasta. The only thing that's kind of weird is it smells like when you go into a Chinese restaurant. There's an aroma for sure. Um... I don't know if it's the tofu or whatever, but there is like kind of like a little smell. At first you're like a little woo, but then you rinse them and the smell's gone. But I just wanted to show you what it looked like before I cook it. It looks like the real deal. It feels like the real deal. And oh my god, I'm excited now. Okay, so let's go cook it. So now that my pasta has been drained, I'm simply going to add it to some boiling water that I have pre-started here. And I like my pasta well done, so I'm going to boil mine for three minutes. Put it in there like that. I'm actually going to add a bit of salt to mine too because when I cook regular pasta or when I did, um, I just found the salt water helped it. And I mean also when you're cooking pasta you're supposed to add salt anyway so that's what it looks like and my water stopped boiling for some reason when I put that in. But anyways I'm going to let that go for three minutes and then I'll take it out, strain it and plate it for you guys and do a taste test. So, I don't know if tofu sticks together when it cooks or not, so I recommend that you get, like, one of these pasta spoon things and just, you know, separate it as it cooks because I noticed it started getting clumpy. So just go like this once in a while to keep it separated. Okay, so I just strained the noodles and that's what it looks like when they're done. They look pretty real. And I'm just waiting on the sauce here that I'm making. I made some homemade stuffed um, garlic cheese and spinach meatballs. And I put it in a homemade sauce there, so I'm just waiting for that to finish. And then I'm going to add that to the tofu spaghetti or whatever, and then I'm going to do a taste test for you. Stay tuned, because I'm going to do a cooking video on this here. This is a very good dish. It's low in carb, high in protein, and it's amazingly delicious. So stay tuned for that. And I will be right back to do a taste test of the finished product. So a serving is 113 grams, and this is exactly 113 grams here, and a lot of people may think that this is a lot, but I'm just going to show you how much of um, this is actually a serving. I just washed my hands, so keep in mind when I touch it, but I'm just doing this to show you um, portion control. So you're eating not even a handful, so it goes into like the palm of your hand. So that's how much is a serving. It's perfect amount for portion control for WLSers, and I'm going to put some meatballs for my sauce here. And then my sauce is um, the meatballs with some roasted zucchini and tomatoes. So that'll be very good. Alright, so here's my plate. I have two meatballs over here. This is just my tomato, um, zucchini, and sauce. And then over here I have the tofu spaghetti. So I'm going to flip the camera around and I'm going to do a live taste test for you guys. So let's get into that. I'm excited. Okay, so it's time to do the taste test of the... Um, tofu spaghetti, so here we go. I miss pasta so much, so if this is, like, gonna work, I'm hooked. Oh. My. God. Okay, you need to go out and get this, seriously. That was with no sauce or nothing, now I'm gonna try it with sauce. The texture is identical, like identical to regular pasta. It tastes like identical regular pasta. Oh my god. 
I just wonder if it's going to be heavy like it. Unfucking believable. Honestly, two VSG Christopher thumbs up. If you see this product here, Tofu Shirataki Egg Noodles, buy it. I paid $2.49 for this, and honestly, I'm hooked. I'm going to go buy like 10 packs, because um, now I can have spaghetti again and not feel guilty. So those days of me consuming carbs from pasta are long gone, and now I can enjoy spaghetti. So I'm excited. You know, you could put this in like chicken noodle soup, lasagnas, casseroles, anything. Spaghetti, like, oh my god. I'm so excited. So definitely buy this. I give this to VSG Christopher thumbs up. And I am actually going to put the nutrition facts for my meal below. This is what I'm having here. And like that would probably be like 800 calories. Not maybe not 800 calories, but like, I don't know. 400 calories and like 50, 60 carbs if I was pre-op. But I'm going to show you the nutrition facts for my WLS pasta. So stay tuned. And um, for any other product reviews that I have coming up, um, I will be posting them on my Facebook to let you guys know about them. So I'll see you guys later. Bye.